Well, then we can walk off first. <laughs> Turn it around. Good spot. You got a big smile on your face. You got to have something to say. Uh, that's because he's he just he just smoked a fatty, man. He's, Is that the only reason you smile? He's not in his right mind. He's got water for a dollar. How much is the blood of Jesus? How much does it cost to wash away? I was kind of hoping you thought it was great. And you know, you're going to have to burn in hell forever. I'm excited. I'm cool with that. So, like, can you just leave me alone? Because I know the fact. You came up to me, man. No, I'm just reading it. Jesus. Get it right away. All right, listen up, Paul Hemp. It's appointed on the man once to die. A man, God man, paid the price for your sins. His name is Jesus Christ. You must turn to him. You must repent. Confess. He's right. Run, Paul away. Woo! Away from your sins. Like hot smoking. It's going to kill you. That is cool. The Holy Spirit. Hey, man, it's wrong. I'll pick you on the ass. Oh no, it's when the Holy Spirit 
comes and he enlightens and shows you who you are and the purpose, the meaning, and the hope that comes. Oh, the destiny that you have and the inheritance and the promise of God. Oh, that's wonderful. So I want you to experience it. I want you to walk in it. Oh, no, you want to walk in and being high, being stoned. You know, you want to be wasted. You want to just, oh, you want to feel this moment. Feel it. Everyone just hug everyone. Oh, that's not love. You're not love. God is love. You need to be filled with the Spirit of God. God is love. And He were the wicked. That's why you got to smoke weed to try to get some peace, some rest. There's no rest for the wicked. The wicked. The ungodly, the unholy, the sinners have no peace with God. You need to come to know Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. You need to, you need to face reality, not hide. Just like Adam and Eve hid in the garden, you hide by smoking a blunt. Oh yeah, you hide from your sin, your shame, your guilt, the condemnation. You smoke marijuana to suppress the truth. The truth is you are guilty. The truth is you have sinned. The truth, you are lonely. The truth is you're insecure. The truth is you don't even know who you are. It's all empty, vanity. What are you living for? What's the purpose of it all? A house on the hill? A nice car? Oh, be, be a president of a corporation? Oh, 420, huh? Hey, it's that break in between school that you smoke that blood. Because you can't stand school. You got to go to school and you got to kiss your teacher's butt to get the grade. You got to jump through all the hoops or you won't get the grade. So in between class at 420, hit that blood, man. Cop out from the pain and reality of your professor, of the grade, of all the crap you have to hear in classes. Oh. But see, you need to go to Christ. Why go to a blunt? Why smoke a joy? You need to go to Christ and receive the wisdom that is from above. Oh, the difference. The difference is I'm always high. You come down. I'm always walking. Oh, you come down. Oh, see, you come down. But Jesus Christ, when you're filled with the spirit of the living God, you have a hope, you have a future, you have a destiny, you have a purpose. There's a purpose for living that's not money, it's not a career, not power. Oh no, it's a relationship with God, to know God, to enjoy God, to experience God. Can I ask you something? Did God create diversity to shun it or to celebrate it? Diversity? Diversity. Yeah, celebrate it. Yeah, you know why he celebrates diversity because he has created, created us all different that we may show forth his glory, reflect his character. You are made in the image of God and I'm made in the image of God and he is made in the image of God and he is and this girl and this girl. We're all made and we all reflect a part of God's beauty, his glory. But what happens is you have perverted it. How have you perverted it? because you are not thinking clearly. You are not thinking rightly now because you have altered your mind by a substance that God did not want you to alter your mind with. He did not want you to do that. Whether it's liquor or, 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 or weed or whatever way, you know. Oh, I know what I'm talking about. You're going to die. You're going to stand before God. You're going to, you're people. You have chosen to love creation rather than the creator. You love, you love your marijuana. You love your marijuana. It's called idolatry. You love marijuana more than you love God. Obedience to God. You love the feeling, that thrill, that moment. You love that head rush. Oh, you love being in that place. But guess what? You're never satisfied. You're never satisfied. You're never content. You're never fulfilled. You're never in that place of true joy, true peace, true rest. Oh, you have no joy. I'm filled with the Holy Spirit. I'm always high. Oh, the joy of the Lord is my strength. I have a, I have a purpose for living. God is my friend. I walk with God.